This is a picture of a regular guy, like I was, right? So in the early years, uh, I really had no idea what am I going to do in life. I loved so many things, but uh, uh, three of them prevailed. So it was basketball, but I'm quite short. Uh, the second one was theater. I'm not such a good actor. And the third one was IT. And when I had to go to the university, uh, I was wondering what, what should I do? And uh, kind of, I ended up in IT completely by mistake. I, I'm really, I'm really um, thankful to my parents for pushing me in that direction because it opened so many doors for me. Basically, I started my life in this beautiful city that you all know. Yeah, everything was going well. It was um, the years after the war because I was living in Italy previously and then uh, I came back in 1998 after the war. There was a, really a lot of good energy inside the town. You could feel it, right? You'll remember those years, the end of the 1990s and the early 2000s were, were, uh, were the years where you could feel, really feel that people were working on rebuilding this devastated, dev devastated country. There was, there was a really, really good feeling. And then stuff started changing, but I was living my life, right? Like a regular life, like everybody else. I got married. And then, you know, I, I kind of started wondering about, about the quality of life. Uh, this is how Sarajevo looks. Uh, during the winters. It's a completely different picture from the previous one, right? Um, sometimes it's, it's really, really hard to live in this city during the winter because all of these problems that we have, uh, the corruption, the politicians, uh, uh, the stray dogs, everything else, are augmented in this period of the year. And, you know, sometimes you wonder, what the hell am I doing here? Many of us are wondering that, right? Is this the place where I want to raise my kids? How? Can I, as an individual, solve these big problems? Am I powerful enough? Of course not. I cannot move those big blocks. I was kind of influenced by the community and I started thinking, uh, maybe I should just get away from here. In the end, it all kind of comes to choices to turn stumbling blocks into stepping stones. So my choice at the time was this place right here. And I decided to go to Stockholm, Sweden, sick of all of this stuff that I had uh, in Bosnia because I wanted a new start. I wanted to kind of start my family, have kids in a much more, um, in a much better place. You need to uh, leave your family behind. And, you know, I was, I was promised some sort of holy grail when I was going to Sweden, to Stockholm. And soon after I arrived, I, I actually figured out okay, this is not the holy grail. I mean, it's not like everything works here as it was promised. Life was hard. Stockholm is an extremely expensive city. You don't have any family. You don't have any friends. You don't have that support circle that you are used to. And I even remember some funny situations like, for example, in two years, uh, we changed three apartments because of the housing situation in Stockholm. And I remember a very, <laughs> a very scenic situation when we had to push the car kind of uphill because we borrowed a car from, from a friend of ours uh, to move from one apartment to the other. And then, you know, Amra, my wife and I, we were pushing this car uphill because the battery died. Life can be really hard wherever you live. And good and bad stuff happens regardless of the place where you are. It's up to you uh, on what you make out of every place where you live. At some point, as I was involved in the startup community in Stockholm, and I was doing all of this cool stuff, I started thinking, what could I do uh, to help my, my home country? What is the impact I could make to kind of to make the situation better back in Bosnia? And a lot of good ideas started flowing, and then uh, we, we had this crazy idea of building uh, a tech, tech company that was unseen here in Sarajevo. Uh, that would put people first, that would show an example to others on how can we work legally and still make a really good profit, and also how can we build new products in a devastated country. Not outsourcing, build new products. And this is where, this is where we are today. So we managed to do this. We didn't have any help from anyone. And uh, yeah, we started with practically zero money, 
and we managed to go from zero to one million euro in profit last year in just three years. So somehow it turns out maybe, I don't know, this country is not so shitty as it looks. Maybe there is something here. There are so many opportunities. Maybe we can do something, right? We failed so much, you know? But also we built a couple of startups that were really big, some of them top 50 in Europe. This is something that should inspire people. One of our main goals of being here is actually to inspire people, to show that you can do things in every place in the earth. So now the question is, what is the impact that we can make, that you can make? What is uh, the reason that you are doing the current job that you're doing or that you are in that university? What is the reason for, for doing a specific job? Why are you doing it? Is it because of the money? Is it because of the, of the fame or, I don't know, maybe job security? What is the reason why, why you choose a specific career? I think that the most important thing uh, in communities like these that are trying kind of to revive, to rebuild itself from, from the inside, is to work on impactful things. Uh, to choose a career where you can augment the society, where you can contribute, right? So how do you do that? I think the, the first way is to find people that inspire you. There are many of them today in this audience. So you find the people that you like, you kind of get in touch with them, and you start working together. Why you? Why you specifically? What can you do to impact the society? So uh, you must say, okay, I don't have any connections, I don't have any money. What can I contribute to the society? What is the thing that I can bring here? You could be right, but you could be wrong as well. One thing that I will say to you is, you have these two hands and you have that brain as well. So you start from there and you can definitely make an impact. I mean, I'm a regular guy. I'm not from some sort of, you know, rich family, whatever. I started literally from nothing. And I'm not even in a political party. I think one of the main reasons why we have all of this bad stuff happening in, 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 in Bosnia is also uh, that we are accepting this status quo. We are accepting this cancer that is happening inside of the country and we are not doing anything to change it. Sometimes we're even supporting it by doing light forms of tax evasion, doing light forms of corruption when we go to, <laughs> to a doctor, etc. So we are even kind of augmenting this cancer that is happening in the community. We need to start working legally. We need to think about the impact. We need to inspire others, all of the stuff that we mentioned so far. So you can think about two things. Do you want to impact the local community or the global um, world community. So, uh, based on, on your beliefs and the things that you care about in life, you can choose the local or the global stage. I think that you can, even, even if you are somewhere else, you can still impact uh, the, the community, let's say in Bosnia, right? Uh, as you can see, many good examples from the diaspora as well about this. And, you know, you need to figure out what you want to do. For example, Elon, Elon Musk um, was living in South Africa but then he, uh, he moved to the US because he wanted a bigger stage. But, uh, you know, I don't think that's, that's the way for everyone because our beliefs and the things that we, uh, that we want are completely different from person to person, you know? Maybe you really care about the local community, maybe you don't. And that's not bad either. So just find what is your passion and go search for ways on how you can make an impact by pursuing that passion as well. The great solution to all human problems is individual transformation, really. And I want to say one thing. You need to rewire your brain. You need to start thinking about how can I, as an individual, make an impact? How can I change this community for the better? And that's where all starts, and that's where all ends. You matter, everyone matters. Thank you.